So ladies and gentlemen, on 9th of August this year, I had made a video where I said India is going to have a dire period from 11th of August to 17th of September. And finally, this period is now over, but a lot of unfortunate incidents has happened during this period. As we know, like the incident, the unfortunate incident in Kolkata and Manipur escalation and lot of other border issues. We discussed three scenarios, but now is a different game altogether because today we will discuss how the upcoming months will be for Prime Minister Modi because now his period is changing from his birthday, which is today 17th as I'm making this video. So today we shall discuss his time from 17th of September until 13th of April next year, 13th April 2025, all right, 17th September 2024 to 13th April 2025, and this is almost like a phenomenal period for him, it's a very good period for him, and we will discuss what are some of the things that can happen with certain specific dates and time periods, and uh, we need to remember that uh, these things that we will discuss can happen anytime. Okay, it, it does not have to happen in between those uh, specific four periods which we will discuss. It can happen in any time, but I will still try and narrow down specifically. But that's the disclaimer it can happen anytime. Okay, uh, that's the first disclaimer. Disclaimer number two all these predictions that I will be making today will not necessarily hold true for state elections. So, for example, there are you know, elections in many parts of India now till uh, April next year, like Maharashtra, for example, and so many other places. So, it does not mean that just because he's having a good time, so uh, BJP will, you know, sweep every election. It does not mean that, okay? But, of course, these predictions will hold true for Modi ji as a person and as a Prime Minister of India, which means his stature at a national level and most importantly at an international level, that will, uh, this will work there. Okay, so these, these predictions may work at the state level for state elections or it may not work. Okay, because for that we need to see the chief ministerial candidates, you know, their horoscopes and, you know, the opposition leaders and all, everybody, okay? So, these may not apply there. So, don't apply this logic there, okay? Now, also, the third disclaimer is, many of you have asked me, why am I not presenting his chart and discussing all astrological details? Well, I can do that if you want me, but it will be a two-hour session, all right? Because I have to explain everything from scratch, okay? So, therefore, I will... Combine everything and give you the crux of the time periods so that you can save time. But if you really insist, then I will make one special session for two hours explaining everything. So if you want that, please write, yes, we want that. All right. <laughs> then I'll try my best to do it someday. All right. So the issues that we will discuss today will primarily be related to you know, the economy. So his vision of a $5 trillion economy then the BRICS, BRICS or BRICS currency, then a permanent uh, seat at the UN Security Council, then USA, Europe and this axis, you know, the US, EU and Russia axis. Then of course, Ukraine, uh, who cannot discuss Ukraine. And then we have Pakistan. And then we have the Waqf Act. And then we have Pakistan occupied Kashmir. You could also discuss Bangladesh if you want. And there's one thing which... I think might come or rather this is my desire that he brings this maybe if not this year maybe in the near future he will bring it which is the property Aadhaar which is like a, a card where every person has all the properties that he or she has in his name listed and linked with the Aadhaar card okay, which is like a national ID card in India okay uh, some something like that so I want that he brings this. Let's see if he will bring this. Uh, if not now, then maybe in the upcoming future. Okay. So, the periods will be divided into four periods. So, the first period is from 17 September this year to 27th uh, of October this year. Okay. This is not very long. But this period is a massive period and it's starting today. Okay. So, this period can have, you know, like 
all the good things that any political leader can have, like name, fame, power, position, uh, authority, and uh, specifically this period will be a period where he might make a lot of financial decisions, you know, like some you know, some decision can cover black money, uh, you know, tax, stock market, wealth creation, and the stock market may be volatile, so it, it can, you know, go up or down, but in the long run, till 13 April, I see the stock market is going higher and higher and higher, all right? Of course, don't just put all money just because I've said uh, I'm not a financial advisor. Disclaimer, all right, do your own due diligence for investing. But if you are in general investing in stable stocks, you can expect good returns, okay? <laughs> then wealth creation will be a very important part of his portfolio, which means, you know, like bringing in investments, FDI, foreign direct investments, then uh, increasing the, what is that? production and GDP, focus on the GDP. So income tax related things could be there. Financial regulations could come. There could be growth in business. Okay, so overall, uh, or there could be some action against, you know, the financial fraudsters or information control. So overall, this is a period where anything and everything related to money will be the focus. And of course, we may not see this in the news, you know, like, because we may not see everything we just see the sensational part right but if you you if you uh, watch like specific media channels who will deal with the financial uh, condition of the country then they will be able to tell you that yes these things might be occurring okay rather than just seeing you know like sensational tv news shows so at the end uh, focus will be on manufacturing and export and FDI, okay, so things going out and money coming in, that will be the primary focus, along with any other uh, political achievement nationally, uh, again, that could happen, okay, uh, but again, as, as I said, uh, this may not mean that if there is a state election, there will be victory there, okay, it does not mean that, but at a national level, you know, some law or something, you know, he might be able to pass, okay, <laughs> now, the second period, 27 October to 14 December, this is a bit intense period. There could be some uh, small conflicts here or there in the border or, you know, some bad news can come, but that's very small and temporary. But there will be some focus on luxury, you know, cars, real estate, luxury, real estate, uh, homes, you know, wealth, prosperity. So this is more like a luxury period, basically, with some struggle, okay? Then the third period is 14 December this year to 8th February next year, 2025. This period is extremely favorable for him. Like, phenomenally, he will be lucky. So, there will be foreign, great reputation in the foreign lands. Then international achievements can be there. You know, like, spirituality or religion, these kind of issues might be sorted. No, um, So, there could be achievements which he might get in the developed countries. Okay. And also, one thing I forgot to tell you. That, uh, you know, BRICS currency and all this, these these things could also be there in the line. Okay, there could be some major developments during the 17th uh, September to 27th October or even 27th October to 14th December or in this period, like, you know, 14, uh, 14 December to 8th of February. So, BRICS currency is a huge topic, may not be literally the currency, but some very positive development in that side. Okay. And then during this period, 14 December to 8th of February, you know, like, uh, that there could be some developments in uh, topics like, you know, like the Kashi Vishwana temple or the Mathura Krishna Janamuni temple. Some, some favorable developments could happen in that area. And the next period, the next period is extremely favorable. It's like, it's the best period actually. So this is, 8th February to 13th of April next year, 2025. So this this is again phenomenal, like, you know, all-around success. So during this time, you know, there could be some some issue, like something in the border and, yeah. So issue in the sense, you know, there could be some problem and then some land could come to India. <laughs> if, or there could be some action on, you know, black money again, property or, you know, some major political victory. So... So yeah, this is again another favorable period and during that time, I think in December, the uh, 
uh, sorry, sorry, not December. I think uh, the period before, the third period, which I said, you know, 14 December to 8 February, that time, the winter session of the parliament will also be uh, in action. And that is an extremely lucky period for him. Okay, so uh, you can expect a lot of things might be passed during that winter session. And then during this fourth period, which I have said, 8 February to 13 April, during this time, you know, there could be some a major diplomatic victory. I mean, overall, all the period, all these months are like extremely favorable. Anything good that he desires can happen. But specifically, <clears throat> uh, this period is like the pinnacle of, of all the good things that is there. Okay, so, so now when I have said, you know, like uh, ULSC permanent seat, uh, so it does not mean that it will happen during this December, February time. It might happen, but I don't think it will happen so soon. But there will be some, there could be some, you know, major developments which you might hear in the news. Okay, like recently there was a news where they said, you know, that uh, they want to give it uh, to the other countries, uh, but not the veto power. Okay, but nonetheless, that is still a good development, even if without veto power. But I think the countries have said, you know, we will not accept this without veto. It does not make sense to become a permanent member of the Security Council. But nonetheless, there, there can be some further uh, good developments, okay? And during this period, there could also be, you know, like some further developments in mitigating the Ukraine, uh, Russia, this conflict. You know, maybe it's sorted or if not, then India is like, yeah, he's able to uh, negotiate between for both the countries at a very high level and there's a possibility if that is like best case scenario uh, that the war is uh, over okay but again now uh, seeing the situation i don't think it will happen but major developments can happen okay so maybe in one or two or three years then the war is over or maybe during this time depending on the situation okay <clears throat> And also Pakistan, Pakistan and Bangladesh, the situation will be very strongly monitored during this period. And also there could be a situation where there are voices, you know, within the POK, Pakistan occupied Kashmir, uh, that they want to join India. And, you know, they, they, so that's also like a diplomatic victory. I mean, that's already there. People of uh, some, some other places in Pakistan, like, uh, there's Balochistan and uh, yeah, so many other places, right? They are also there. Are, there are separatist movements there, so there could be some support for India from these regions, okay? And overall, in the Southeast Asian region, there could be major developments. You know, like India could sign defense deals or you know, export Brahmos missile and all this, you know, as as India does, okay? So these are all the good things. So essentially, this period is fantastic for him. No. So whatever he desires, whatever he wants, like there's also, you know, all this like one nation, one election, these, that might also become a reality, who knows. And there is some broadcast bill also, which he wants to pass or the WAF bill, uh, which has been sent to the JPC, I guess. So these things might get passed, okay? And now I think in Rajya Sabha also BJP has, uh, not BJP, sorry, NDA has the majority. This is what I know at the moment. Now you can correct me if I'm wrong, but this is what I've seen in the news, that they have the majority now. So they may be able to pass all this, okay? And NDA already has the majority, not BJP, NDA combined. So now these are the good things. What are the difficulties and troubles which he might face? You know, difficulties and troubles are, number one, there could be a lot of misinformation against him or uh, or his party, especially from today, 17th September to 27th October. This is a very bad time in terms of, you know, misinformation. So there could be fake news, false information, which could spread and, you know, it might be difficult for him to control. <laughs> so he should be aware of this, okay, and... If somebody is watching this <laughs> video uh, who is close to him, please send it uh, so that he's aware of this. And the next is expenditure could increase. A lot of money could go out, okay, because, you know, they're building infrastructure and all this. So the expenditure may be very high. Okay, so that also has to be kept in, uh, un under control. Number three, inflation might increase in the country because so much money is coming in, FDI is coming in, so much, 
so much money is like you know also going out so the inflow outflow you know because of that inflation could rise okay <clears throat> but of course inflation will primarily rise you know if the interest rates are lower than you know a lot of people are like you know taking loans very easily and you know that that's how inflation goes up right the buying power increases so this could be a challenge for him to maintain but I don't see this having a very derogatory effect for, you know, any election. Like, you know, like, for example, I don't see that happening to such a bad extent that, you know, everything is out of control. But in general, because uh, stock prices, you know, stock market prices, uh, property prices, they, they can increase. And yes, this is also, as I said, you know, property prices will also increase. <clears throat> so this is a phenomenal time for investing in Indian stock market or real estate, primarily and I think Sensex might, you know, cross 100K or maybe later. <laughs> but nonetheless, uh, because of this, inflation can come. So people uh, who do not have very good earnings, they might uh, have difficulties, okay? Number four, his personal health might be impacted a bit and his blood pressure might increase, you know, like in worst case, there is danger of, you know, some my stroke or something happening. So you should take care. And anxiety could rise, okay? So you could see always, you know, there are like news coming, he's doing this, he's doing that, and you know, all this, uh, he's doing a lot of things. So so there could be a lot of anxiety and people are like, okay, what will he do next? You know, it's like unpredictability is there. Oh, he will do this, he will do that, or he will do nothing, all right? So oh, you have to understand that the period from 17 September to 13 April is primarily favorable for him. So he will have major diplomatic victory, you know, nationally and internationally. And he will be able to do most of the things that he desires, okay? But that does not mean he will not have problems. I, I'm, I'm not saying that, okay? That's a disclaimer. So he will have problems. But he will be able to go through them and also grow through them and, you know, become a more mature leader, okay? So this is a period where I see he will have major uh, national victories. I mean, nationally, of course, I mean, he is the prime minister, so he will stay most likely until, you know, if there's some major disruption. <laughs> no, but I see that his stature is increasing more at an international level uh, till 13th of April. All right. So that is all from my side. Disclaimer again, not a prediction for state elections. It may or may not be applicable there. All right. Thank you so much for your patience. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And if you want me to make other such similar videos, then please let me know down in the comments. And see you some other time. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. Jai Siara. Take care.